Hi, it's me. I didn't make a vlog yesterday, I just forgot to do it, but today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be doing a video journal based on stuff I'm reading for my English class, American Lit 2. So I'm just going to just dissect what I read and say my opinions on it. First thing I read, which I've read yesterday for a few things I read yesterday, but I'll just do them as I do now. So I'll just like review them and then I'll do a video bit on them. Uh, first thing was Crossing Brooklyn Ferry by Walt Whitman, which was really good. Like, I'm not a huge poetry guy in general. I'm more of a prose, not prose, <laughs> I'm more of a long-form storytelling kind of person, but damn good poem. Like, God, wow. Just very descriptive, very, very detailed, and a lot of it reminds me of, like, interestingly, it reminds me of, like, lyrics from, like, progressive rock albums or... Uh, another example would be like what Lee Ronaldo was doing for Sonic Youth. So clearly like an influence, but never thought it would be. It's still really interesting. And uh, if you haven't read it, go read it right now. I'll put a link to all of the a website with all of these in the description. Next up, I will be reviewing over uh, Oh Captain My Captain and another one. I need to, I need to remember these things because it's a fucking college course. But I don't remember things very well, so see you in a second. Okay, next set was Oh Captain My Captain and Cavalry Crossing a Ford. Ca cavalry, Calvary. I keep saying Calvary, which I think is heaven. Uh, so that's incorrect. But Cavalry Crossing a Ford, which I'm not a huge fan of, but. Importantly, it's it's descriptive, and it's very realistic. So that's important uh, compared to it, me not liking it or not. But of course, Oh Cat to My Cat is one of the greatest poems of all time. I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe because it's completely unlike everything else Walt Whitman did. Because it just seems like a generic poem to me. Like, I understand how important it is, and like, it's a very influential poem... But compared to, you know, crossing Brooklyn Ferry, no, absolutely not. It should not be remembered like crossing Brooklyn Ferry should be. Hell, I don't think it should be remembered as Cavalry Crossing a Ford should be, because it's descriptive, but it's also very generic. So, I don't know. It feels like Whitman uh, sort of walking away from what he wanted to do and just to just to praise the dead Abraham Lincoln the dead a that sounds like a band the dead abraham lincoln just like the anti-dead kennedys anyway uh next up is a bunch of emily dickinson poems which have no names so <laughs> here we go emily dickinson is a hack like i i just have to say that because all these poems are in friggin common meter or common, I don't know what it's, it's common meter, common verse, whatever. It's Amazing Grace. They can all be read to Amazing Grace or Gilligan's Island. Like, my life had stood a loaded gun in corners till a day. The owner passed, identified, and carried me away. Let me go to another one. If I can turn the page. Damn it. No. There we go. Tell all the truth, but tell it. Slant success and circuit lies. Too bright for our infirm delight. It's true, superb surprise. It's all the same damn thing. A narrow fellow in the grass occasionally rides. It's Amazing Grace or Gilligan's Island. It's got good rhyme. It's got good description. But it's all the same fucking rhyme scheme. and all, Or not same rhyme scheme, sorry. Same meter. All of it's the same meter. And it pisses me off. I shouldn't be this angry. I am. Because this lady was told... Was, I was told, Emily Dickinson, great American poet. I've written better poetry than this. And I suck at poetry. So... I don't like these poems. They're not they're not descriptive enough to justify the simple design. So I will note that the first poem I read here, 764, my life had stood a loaded gun. I don't know why that reminded me so much of Black Flag. Sitting here like a loaded gun, waiting to go off. Um uh, Emily Dickinson, the first punk rocker. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be reading some Mark Twain now. Uh Frog Jumping. The Jumping Frogs of Calaveras County, and the first ten chapters of Huck Finn, so yay. 
Well, I've read the jumping, the notorious jumping frog of Calaveras County. That's how it's actually pronounced. And yeah, I like it. I, I've always liked Mark Twain's writing. I feel like Mark Twain is probably the most realistic American writer. Like his style is just solid in general. Like I can't think of anything he's written that I've read that I don't like, except The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but that's a, that's a story for another day. Either way, uh, Jumping Frog is fascinating. It's just all written in dialect and accent, and it's really well done. And it's a fucking hilarious shaggy dog story where a guy's trying to find information about this reverend, and a guy's like, you want to know about a reverend? Well, I don't know any reverend, but he'll tell you about Jim Smiley. Uh, it's it's good. I, I enjoy how Mark Twain like actually, like, basically writes about the American frontier the way he does. It, it's good. I like it. Now then, I'm going to read the first ten chapters of Huckleberry Finn. There it is. There it is. It's going to be a time. I've read the first three chapters of Huck Finn. I've already read this book before. I still think it's one of the best American books ever written, even with the racist language. Like, again, point of what I like, part of what I like about Mark Twain is that he's realistic and in the 1840s? This was written, yeah, around the 1840s. Or, no, it was not written in the 18s. It was written about the 1840s. Um, around then, in Missouri, slavery was legal, as far as I remember. And so it makes perfect sense for racism to be commonplace. Uh, and these first three chapters are fantastic compared to Tom Sawyer. I hate that book. I don't know, I've always hated the book Adventures of Tom Sawyer. I just think Tom Sawyer's a dick. Like, in this book especially, like, Huck's a much more likable, interesting character, but Tom Sawyer's just kind of an asshole. I mean, I just read chapter three, where they bust up a Sunday school because Tom Sawyer's, like, going full-on imagination and pretending it's a bunch of uh, Arab princes and elephants and camels and such, and our enemies are magicians. They turned it into a Sunday school to spite us and talking about genies, and Huck's just like, the hell are you talking about? <laughs> um, but anyway, that's what I've read today so far. So, so far. I'm not going to read any more, but I will read the rest in the coming weeks as part of assignments and such. But until then, I will talk to you in the next video, and hopefully it won't just be me talking about literature. We'll see. I uh, hope you enjoyed, because this was different, and I enjoyed doing it, and hopefully this will make up for nothing yesterday. But for now, I'm Austin, also known as Blackstar. This has been January 13th, 2020, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Adios, everybody.